Welcome Hi. to New Train. Good morning. It's been a few days since we've checked in, so we've settled in. <laughs> yeah, we've got our stuff sort of splurged out. We're pretty, pretty much unpacked. Um, but yeah, this is our place for 600 NZ a month for four weeks. We're here from, oh, I don't know when we checked in, we've been here a few days now. But we leave on the 9th of January, so we have Christmas and New Year's. 10th of December till the 9th of January. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So yeah, we, we needed the full-size kitchen. Well, not a full-size kitchen, but you know, it's a kitchen. We can cook stuff, which is great. Fridge. Even comes with a rice cooker, which is quite cool. Microwave. Um, yep, this is the main entrance. A little room tour. <laughs> <laughs> Did we mention we're on the 35th floor? No, I wasn't going to mention that until we we're outside. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all right. That's this little couch that we use, which is great. A little taste of home. You watch TV at night and come this way to the little bathroom nook. This light up here doesn't work, which is a bit of a bummer. And then you come into the toilet, cool shower. It's actually quite nice. It's very roomy. But yeah, if you want to have a shower, you're going to get the toilet wet. So that's a thing. Close that. And then we have a spare room which we just use to dump our stuff. Everybody needs a space to dump their stuff. And we've got some clothes in the wardrobe. But this is good, like just to have an extra bit of storage. And AC, we tend to keep this one on to push the air out. Because if we have this one on during the day, it just blasts straight onto us and it's freezing. <laughs> So, this one's on at night, that one's on at the day, if we're home. And come through to the bedroom, which is cool, with a nice fan. It's very dark at night too, like proper blackout curtains. Which, yeah, which is very cool. And then out to the not so private balcony. Oh yeah, we have a washing machine. Oh, what is it? It is washing. Washing machine. Yeah, so that's our view. 35 floors. And today we're going to go to both of the big Buddhas that you can see from out here. And potentially the lookout. I'll try to show you. Don't know if I can, but that's the Buddha there, the little white dot. That's one of them. And then around the corner, somewhere over here, that's another one. So we'll go one, two, and then the lookout I believe is up that hill, somewhere up that hill. So boom, boom, and then up there. And then we'll come back. So hopefully we can manage that before the sun sets, because I don't want to be driving the bike at night, and I also don't want to be driving the bike in rush hour traffic, because I did that when we got the bike and that was, it got my confidence up, let's just say that. This is beautiful Natrang Beach. Can't make it five, I'd Come. say not even five minutes, 30 seconds without being hustled by people wanting taxi rides or food or- Massage. Bike is blocking your pathway, Sunrise. asking what you want. Right I'll back. take you to the tour, I'll take you on a tour, I'll take you to the waterfall. Like someone came up and just blocked our path and was like, what do you want? I want, I would do anything, you know, like <laughs> back at home, if someone blocked our path, we'd be worried we're going to get jumped or stabbed or robbed. It's like, it's not part of our culture to have your path blocked by a motorbike, you know, and then get asked for money. Anyway, our bike's down here. I think it's 5,000 a day, which is like not even 10 cents. I'll find our bike somewhere. Hey, do you got the ticket? Thank you. Thank you. This one, I believe. Make sure it works. Yep. Alright, bag packed. 
Maps are set. First stop, gas station. Hopefully I have enough battery for the day. Just making sure this is very tight. I do not want this coming off because we're screwed. Safety first. Hi. <laughs> We are good. Yeah. Merge on to the busy road. Oh wow. straight to the roundabout we would have got there but it is about crossing this road
to them, but you can't really avoid it because they get close to you. Yeah. So you just got to take it really slow and steady. And you don't want to get your foot run over. Worst case, just go slow. The locals will go around you. Another crazy roundabout coming up. <laughs> just here on the right. No ticket. No, no, no ticket. Thank you. Come on. Cool. We made it. That was pretty scary. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get used to those roads. Just take it slow and steady. But we're here. There he is up there. It's a bit of a hike. Oh yeah. Well, we're going up the wrong way, of course. Oh, shoes. I want to go to the big butter. So this looks like the start of the stairs going all the way. On a hot day, 30 degrees. What is the time? I don't know, hang on. 11.38. Is it actually 30 degrees? The high is 31. Oh. There's something cool here. Oh, it's a sleeping Buddha, I think. Yeah. And since Ladies everywhere trying to sell you incense, don't even give them any attention. They want $100,000 for one stick. Yeah, it smells nice. It's pretty impressive. I like how the... Third eye. Yeah. It's like a bead or a gem. Oh, I'm going back to the shade. It's one of those days where you just can't stay in the sun for too long. Even though I'm fully covered. All the terracotta tiling. And the beautiful smell of incense everywhere. Pretty impressive. Okay, let's do it. Should have been counting these steps. All the candles, it must be pretty cool at night. Don't know who lights them, whose job that is, that'd be fun. Hey, go light the stairs. Every single step needs a candle. <laughs> Ooh, 
fish coking out of the top. That's pretty sad, all the rubbish. So this isn't the original at this location. It's actually a remake because like the original it got destroyed, didn't it? Yeah. By a cyclone. First thing I said was, well, 1994 or something. I thought it was in the 80s, but... So they had to rebuild it the same way it was before. Mm. It's rude to take a selfie. Good to know. With Buddha in it. So if you have a photo of him just as he is, that's good. But if I turned around, that's considered rude. I guess because he's his, he's his own man. Pretty cool views. the people for scale. It's so hot. I'm just gonna admire the view for a bit. Here's our bike. All right, so long story short, we're not gonna go to the Big Buddha or the lookout because those roads are way too hectic. I'm just gonna go back to the accommodation and probably drop the bike off and go for a walk along the beach. <laughs> I'm just trusting my gut feeling and I've looked at the maps and it's all across main roads and you've got like left hand, you drive on the right side of the road so you've got left hand turns across like six lane highways and you've seen how busy the roads are and you know I'm not a local so I'm not going to risk it so if you have a bad feeling just listen to your gut so I'll see you back at the hotel that's just it people are offering to take you up on a motorbike but it's like a two minute walk another scam I don't want to photobomb them. Oh, I probably could have gone out the other way. Oh well. Out the way I came.
like a roundabout, that's good. Yeah, that's easy. Is this a one way? No. It's all the school kids riding home for lunch. I guess that was a good lesson. <laughs> like, even though I've got my motorbike license for back at home, you know, it still takes a lot to adjust to the roads. And don't, don't do anything you don't feel safe doing. The roads are crazy out there. And, you know, we had planned to do what we wanted to do, but decided against it just because of safety, I suppose. I don't know. It was still cool seeing the Buddha. And it's a good experience to be out on the roads. But prepare for it. So I guess take this video as an example of what the roads are like, even at midday. It's like, you'd think it would be a little bit quieter. That's why we went out at lunchtime. 
on the hottest part of the day. <laughs> the breeze was nice on the bike, and it's not like, I don't know, you saw in the video, you saw how busy it was. Yeah, it's not like rush hour busy, but I think we'll leave the biking to Hanoi, where it's a little bit quieter, and even then we'll assess. <laughs>